For today's video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of objects that show up in pockets like this at a wedding. Uh, they left their wallet in their pocket and it really is distracting. So I'll try to remove this by using a couple of techniques. First thing we want to do when we bring the image into Photoshop is to duplicate the background. Hit uh, Control J or you can right click on the background and say duplicate duplicate layer starting on the layer above the background we want to click on the healing or the mixer brush tool over here we want to make sure that these settings are set to 1% wet the load to 75 Mix to 54 and flow to 3. These are just settings that I've come up with over a few years. Um, first off, make sure you have a clean brush. Click here, clean the brush. And what this mixer brush does is take samples of colors from the current layer where you select a sample by cl clicking the Alt key. Notice the crosshairs that show up, and you want to click color that you want the wallet area to be, and you just gently click and then press click the Alt key and then click your mouse button, take a sample, start brushing. Notice how it's changing the color very slightly. You can show the difference when you turn off a layer like this and see it working. Okay, and we're also going to be using the clone tool, but for now, I think it works better to just get rid of the shadows by taking a sample from another section. See how that works? So, down here, I'm going to click the Alt key again, take a sample of the colors. By getting rid of the shadows, basically gets rid of the impression of the wallet for the most part. I'm going to come back in here and do a little bit of clone stamp also. You may want to just use clone stamp, but I'm, doing, I'm using both. So click the clone stamp tool, make a new layer, Control J, and we'll work on this new layer at 42% flow. Hit the own stamp and to get the sample area bigger you can click on the left or not right bracket keys and it makes the circle bigger or smaller left is small right is big we want to keep it kind of big so we can get a big sample so the clone stamp tool basically is going to take this texture here and Click the Alt key, take a sample, and then just drag gently over here. And for other areas, you do want to take a sample from another site, not somewhere that has wrinkles, because you want to get something that's smooth, like up here. Do that. Down here, I'm going to take a sample here and drag it up over these wrinkles. And then for the shadow, we're going to click a sample here, right in the middle, so the shadow gets dragged over. And it gets rid of that wallet. Look at that. Not the best job, but you can play around with it. Okay. Take a sample from here, click down. Look at that. Looks good, I think. You can also play around with the... Uh, below the... Uh, mixer brush and try to go over these shadows a little bit but for now I think the wallet looks good there look at that just that layer and then at the end if you're satisfied with what you want you can just do an export as
JPEG and whatever canvas size you want, uh, image size, and hit export. Yes. And then you can go ahead and do your other edits up here with the power lines and everything if you want. Thanks for your time and thanks to Cassie for this image.